गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप सुगदन सीनियर लेक्चर इन यूनिवर्सिटी कॉला लम्बो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन हाउ टू डू डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स फॉर कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल्स यूजिंग एस पी एस एस ओके ओपन द डेटा फाइल इन एस पी एस एस on your computer and uh, our aim is to do descriptive statistics for continuous variable uh, in this data age is a continuous variable systolic blood pressure is also a continuous variable diastolic blood pressure is also a continuous variable then uh, fasting blood sugar before treatment fasting blood sugar after treatment and bmi all these are continuous variables okay there are two ways to do descriptive statistics for continuous variable first way is to click analyze go to descriptive statistic and click frequencies and select whatever continuous variable you want to uh, do descriptive statistics i am selecting age and systolic blood pressure then i am going to there are three options statistics charts and format in this uh, message box you just click statistics and select whatever statistics is required according to my research i would like to know the central tendency mean median and mode and then i need standard deviation standard error minimum maximum variance or range whatever you require you can select then you can select quartiles then they will calculate 25th percentile 75th percentile and median click continue then click charts if you want charts you can click charts and select histograms because histograms is uh, good for continuous variable histograms if you check with the normal curve spss will show histogram with a normal curve uh, uh, added to it then click continue then click okay now output output viewer is open okay all the descriptive statistics is shown mean median mode and whatever selected percentiles 25th percentile 50th percentile and 75th percentile for both age and systolic blood pressure because in this case we selected only age and systolic blood pressure okay frequency table is shown it is not of much value in case of um, uh, continuous data if in categorical data this frequency table is very much important histogram is shown with the normal curve embossed on it for both age and the systolic pressure okay now i am minimizing the output view now i will tell you another way to do uh, descriptive statistics for continuous variable you can click analyze descriptive statistics instead of going to frequencies you go to explore okay and i am selecting uh, similarly age and systolic blood pressure okay then i am clicking statistics whatever statistics is needed with one click i can i can check all the descriptive statistics and it will calculate confidence interval for mean also do you remember in the previous technique they never calculated 95% confidence interval values in many time you may require that in this option they will calculate confidence interval for mean 95% or 99% or 90% whatever you require you can check percentiles continue then plots have you seen plots yeah you click that okay box plots then descriptive you can check histogram and Uh, SPSS will uh, will uh, draw stem and leaf plot also. Have you seen another small uh, box to check 
normality plots with TAS. It will uh, check for normality of the data and it will show the normality plots also. Then click continue. Then click OK. Before uh, clicking OK, you have to check both display, statistics and plots. If you check statistics alone, it will not show the plots. If you check uh, plots alone, they will not show statistics. So you have to check both statistics and plots. Click OK. okay. Before clicking OK, I will check options. Options, no need to change anything. Exclude cases list wise. Missing values. Okay. That is default, uh, default option is selected. No need to change anything in options. I'm clicking OK. Okay. As always, output view is uh, shown. Okay. In that explore option, they will show descriptives, mean. You saw 95% confidence in the lower bound value and upper bound value is shown. Median, uh, variance, standard deviation, interquartile range, skewness and kurtosis. Okay, skewness and kurtosis. If it is nearing to zero, that means it is a uh, uh, normally distributed. Okay, now we can we can check the normality. Okay, all the descriptive statistics for age and systolic blood pressure is shown. Percentiles shown. 25th percentile value, 75th percentile value, and 50th percentile value. You can select that. Have you seen test of normality? Two tests of normality they are doing. One is Colmogrove, Colmogrove, Smirnov test, and a Chaparral Wilk test. In our analysis, uh, I prefer Chaparral Wilk test because Chaparral Wilk test is applicable to many situations even if sample size is very high or sample size is very low we can apply shapiro will test in shapiro will test you have to look for sig value sig value spss show p value as significance value if significance value is more than 0 0.05 data is normally distributed why it is coming like that? In all situations, there is p-value less than 0 0.05 is significant. But in Shapiro will test and in normality test, significance value, if it is more than 0 0.05, data is normally distributed. Because in this case, null hypothesis is that data is normally distributed. Here, significance value or p-value is more than 0 0.05 we have to accept null hypothesis that's why data is normally distributed now we will see the histogram yeah histogram is also showing data is almost normally distributed stem and leaf plot is shown you saw normality plots one is known as qq plot it is a graphical representation to know if data is normally distributed if all the observations are very close to the uh, diagonal line then data is normally distributed okay for each and for uh, this uh, for a uh, uh, systolic blood pressure they calculate this is a box and a Bisker plot that also shows the, the data is almost normally distributed. Both whiskers will be almost equal distance from the median. Whiskers means these are the lines extending from the box. Both whiskers will be of almost same distance from the median. Okay. It is about uh, descriptive statistics of continuous variables hope you understand